So this is actually being taken a few days later, but will be published on the same day as the um, original M7 video. And what we have at the moment is we have a recording video camera, which does indeed seem to be recording. If I, yeah, if I move something close to the lens, tries to autofocus, and there we go. So if I actually pull back, and sit in front of a lens. What we have here is a hopefully working video camera. So this is the M7 that I acquired the other day. It's my second M7. Um, I had to strip it down again and there was a single two pin connector on the board on uh, one of the side panels with the board that's got all of the um, switches on it for focus, autofocus, white balance etc. There's a two pin connector. I had literally forgotten to plug it in. Uh, it was tucked inside the chassis of the machine. As soon as I pulled it out, uh, managed to retrieve it, I was able to plug it back in and the camera now seems to be working. So let's stop recording on the camera and let's see if it plays back on the TV. So the camera itself, it may actually be the camera tube itself that's at fault. It could be uh, that we're trying to operate in pretty low light conditions. Um, as I think if I actually aim it at a more lit source it does seem to be better. However, the fact that it's working is half the battle. I mean if it is the actual camera itself there isn't really, really anything you can do about it. Um, I'll run another test of it in high light conditions or sort of daylight conditions. So I know a lot of cameras from the 80s really didn't sort of cope with um, low light conditions that well, certainly consumer grade cameras. Anyway, looks like we've got uh, another sort of potential end sort of to another successful project. If you have found this video interesting, don't forget to hit that like button and also consider subscribing for more upcoming fascinating hobbies. And we will see you next time. I'm just focusing on my face. Anyway, see you next time.